what's going on in Hong Kong? You are here for 11 years and there's a big evolution now. The, uh, the, the hypothesis we had 11 years ago was that there was interest in Asia for Impressionist and modern and post-war and contemporary art. Uh, and I think the, the proof is now obvious to everybody. Uh, with Art Basel in town and the many, many galleries who are opening in town, there is enormous uh, interest in the region for, uh, for Western art, for global contemporary art. Uh, we're happy to be a part of it. Um, and I think that interest is continuing to grow. But less abstract. More precisely, there's a lot of new rich customers. Well, sure. I mean, I think globally there is enormous wealth creation. There is, uh, I mean, we've seen uh, uh, more and more uh, concentration of wealth uh, in addition to more and more liquidity in the world. And all those people who are interested in collecting art are chasing fewer and fewer objects because the amount of great art is not increasing as rapidly uh, as the liquidity in the world and, and also the, the interest in collecting. So uh, I think th this evolution is natural. I think we're at the, at the beginning of a very, very long cycle uh, for, for contemporary art. But uh, you were one of the early, Gagosian was, was one of the early to settle down in Hong Kong, yes, right? Yeah. And so what's your feeling about all those galleries, powerful galleries coming and being your competitors? Uh, Lars Nitva, the former director of West Kowloon Cultural District, or of M Plus, I should say, told me that the, the more bakers in the street, the better the bread. And uh, I agree with that. I think if more great galleries are in Hong Kong doing great shows, then it's, a, then it's wonderful for Hong Kong and it's wonderful for the entire region. And you didn't have the temptation to go to HP? Uh, we did not have the temptation. I mean, I, it's, it's great to have another uh, gallery building uh, in Hong Kong, uh, but we're very, very happy with Petter Building. Merci.